friends, we are back with another Insta360 video and today it is for one of my favorite cameras in the lineup. This is the brand new Insta360 X3. Now they've made a bunch of upgrades since the last X2 version and I cannot wait to try them out. But first, let's unbox and see what other kind of goodies are in this bag. We've got a full bag of treats. Let's unbox it. I can't wait to see this. Oh man, look at this. I love this huge LCD. This is so great. Oh, my favorite camera in the world. Let's see what else is in the box. We've got our little case. Cute. This was always one of my favorites. It's just this nice, slim little case that I can just pop this in. This will not only protect your LCD, but also your lenses. <gasps> Look at you. Look at you. You've got a new home. A little, oh, a little microfiber cloth. Yes. I'm, oh, I'm so excited. They included the silica gel. Mm, my favorite treat. And we've got a USB-C cable. USB-A to C. Let's take a quick look at this camera before we get into the accessories. This has an all new upgraded half inch sensor. You can shoot 5.7K 360 degree video with active HDR, 72 megapixel 360 photos, 4K single lens mode, 8K time lapse. It's waterproof up to 33 feet and has an all new 2.29 inch touchscreen with tempered glass. There's also a few new shooting modes like 4K single lens mode that will let you shoot wide angle footage just like a single lens action camera. There's me mode which fixes the frame to focus only on you and the selfie stick will be removed. This is great because you can skip having to reframe in 360 mode and it will all be automatically done for you. There's also a new 8K 360 degree time lapse, 360 degree active HDR, 4K 120 frames a second bullet time, and 72 megapixel 360 degree photo option. Loop recording will continually record video, but will only keep the last section up to 30 minutes to save your memory card space. We've also got a few accessories like this quick reader, mic adapter, and the extended edition selfie stick that lets you get those impossible fake drone shots. <gasps> oh, it's, it's turning on, look at this. Oh my God, oh, I love this touch screen. This is great. I'm very interested in the single lens mode too, which is very interesting. I like that they decided to do that. With a single lens, you're basically going to be turning this into an action camera with just one lens. Here's all our different shooting modes. We have video, HDR, time lapse, time shift, bullet time, loop recording, star lapse, burst, interval, HDR, and photos. Let's check out the accessories. The first thing that I'm going to open is a lens cap protector. This is definitely something that you're gonna wanna get. Even though this does come with that little bag to protect it, the lenses are basically the most important part about these cameras, so you do want to protect them at all costs, and that is the cost of the camera, so you're gonna wanna protect it. Okay, we're gonna open up a quick reader. You can connect to Wi-Fi, you can transfer it just like that, but with this, it'll be even quicker. So you plug this into your phone, plug this into your Insta360 camera, and you'll be able to automatically transfer between the two, which is pretty great. So this is a little adapter that'll let you attach a microphone. Here's the mic adapter. This lets you attach a microphone. So you can use like the wireless Go or any other little wireless microphones. It's so tiny, look at that. Next up, we have the bullet time cord. I haven't done a bullet time test on one of these in a while. This is where you basically attach the camera to the end of it and you swing it around your head and you look absolutely just ridiculous. But the shots are worth it. Oh, look at that, there it is. So silly, so silly. So now we have a couple selfie stick options. So this is the multi-function bullet time handle. I really like this one because this doubles as a tripod. You can also do the bullet time shots with this as well. So I like having this kind of as basically a multi-function tool. It's great. Look at that, there it is. Tiny little tripod. So what's great about this is you can use the invisible selfie stick, which when you're looking at it, it's not invisible, but in post, it gets removed. So the selfie stick here, you can actually attach to either side of this if you want to do the bullet time and not use bullet time little string. You can also use this and swing this around your head. So it depends, you know, what kind of look you're going for. 
Then you can also attach the selfie stick to the top and you can use that as a tripod. This does have a little lock here at the bottom so you can stop it from rotating. And then this, of course, will also extend up quite high. Now, if this isn't long enough for you, well, we have something else. This is the extended edition selfie stick. Now, this thing is just absolutely super, super cool. It's also incredibly obnoxious, which is why I love it. Like, what? Like, this is so freaking far. Whoops, whoops. Oh God, okay. Well, um, I can almost touch my desk over there. Yeah, this is gonna be so fun. So now that I have everything unboxed, all that's left to do is take it outside and test it out. This is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. So we're outside now and it's time to test and it is by far the hottest day of the year. So this is gonna be quite interesting. Hopefully we survive, but first things first, let's test out the big stick. Should always do these motions in like a soft area just in case. I have so many friends. Everyone thinks that I'm so cool. Look at them all. Look at them all. so much about this 360 is their app. The app is so intuitive once you get used to it. They have this really cool AI editing feature called Shot Lab where it'll give you a bunch of templates and you basically follow the instructions and you go shoot exactly as they tell you and you get a really cool masterpiece edited together automatically. Walking over here, as you may have seen, I just downloaded my footage into the app and it automatically edited together what you just saw. And this is one of the things that has been so unique about this bullet time. They now have an upgraded 4K 120 frame a second bullet time feature, which is, I think we've all seen the matrix at this point. You take this, spin it around your head, and you're gonna get a really cool bullet time shot. Now this does require an extra little addition, so this little bullet time handle will also double as a tripod, which I love because you can use this to do things like the clone feature. So I'm gonna walk around this and you'll be able to clone yourself, which is pretty cool and the app makes it so easy to use. So another accessory, if you don't want to use the bullet time handle, is this. This is the Insta360 bullet time cord, and it is exactly what the name says. It's a cord. You just screw this into the bottom, and instead of swinging that around your head, you swing this little cable around your head to get the same bullet time effect. It's pretty awesome. because if you don't have room to carry either the stick or the tripod, the bullet time cord will get you that same cool effect. Another thing that I've liked about this so far is the increased battery life. It did say that there is a 10% battery increase, which so far we're doing pretty good. And this heat 
loves to kill batteries. And so far, we're doing pretty well. We filmed a bunch of stuff. I've also been importing this footage into my phone directly using Wi-Fi. We're still going strong. I also really like how large this LCD is. I love the interface. I felt like in the past, the interface was okay, but they really nailed this now because they have so much more room to give you options. Like just being able to click on things, the touchscreen seems so much more responsive. So if you have held off and have always wanted one of these cameras, I feel like the time is now. It's here. Because this is now giving you the option to film with a single lens, like you could actually use this as a vlog camera. And I think that may be something that I might actually consider doing. Do you guys miss my vlogs? Do you? Huh? Huh? Who does? Leave a comment below if you miss my vlogs. One of the cool things about this camera is the fact that you can also film in single lens mode. You can use either one of the lenses, the front or the back. And right now I'm using the front and it's so cool because it's basically like an action camera. You can decide which lens to use and also extend it. It's also super stable. Speaking of vlogging, if this is something that you do want to use for audio, the audio has significantly improved over the past couple versions of this camera, but now they do give you the option to use a wireless microphone, and they do have an invisible wireless mount, which will give you the ability to use a microphone to attach this, and the microphone will disappear, which is pretty much the magic of this camera, is invisible selfie stick, and now you have the invisible mic. The other thing that I like about these cameras that I think sometimes people don't really get is it's a 360 camera, but you don't have to export that footage in 360. This is one of those things that I love just taking out filming. I don't have a plan and I'm just able to take this footage later and reframe it. And that's what I like about these types of devices is it doesn't really take you out of the moment. Granted, it might because you do have a huge stick and you're flailing it around. But for you, you're just filming and you're gonna have a lot of incredible content to play with later. Clone loop. This is also pretty rugged. I have already hit this off of the grass several times trying to perform some maneuvers. Oh! Which is really cool because I feel like a lot of these cameras are used for all types of action sports. So to know that it is pretty durable is very, very great. watching this is the first look at the insta 360 x3 they now officially did drop the one so these cameras used to be called the insta 361 and then a number so that's a little confusing so to alleviate all of the confusion it is now the insta 361 no it's not the one. Oh god i'm confusing myself insta 360 x3 that's it bottom line definitely my favorite camera so far. Every time Insta360 releases one of these cameras, they end up being one of my favorite cameras ever. So thank you Insta360 for partnering with me on this video. You guys are always so supportive and I am such a huge fan of you. So thank you so much for letting me review this early and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.